Alright, so today's card is Artificial Heart. Um, I don't know, this looks kind of like almost being like a robot. Not being oneself. Maybe some type of possession. What about you guys? What do you think? What does it bring up for you? Okay, so number 12. Eh? Moon phase is new. Stage is bargaining. If I don't feel the warmth of the sun, will I blame the sun or myself? Knowing me, myself. How about you? Visual seat. A female figure. An android or a robot. With cyber lines traveling over the skin like gentle spiders. A black choker of feminine servitude. And jade eyes of futuristic indifference. The sentence says, building oneself up to specifications. Dealing oneself to adversity. Dreaming of electric sheeps. I guess that would be like protecting yourself more than you should. Um, living under a rock, being too sheltered, etc. Um, what about you? What does that bring up for you? Okay. The Going Dark says, Once upon a time, it was a time of flying monkeys. Someone journeyed to a place that wasn't Kansas in order to gain a heart. Oh, such a charming old-fashioned fairy tale. A new heart can be bought on the internet now and be delivered in a couple days with a brand new shiny instruction manual. It works, too. It gets the job done. It's not a job of feelings. It's scripted like a job of numbers. Actually, it feels like a trade-off. We will find refuge in the rational mind, which in turn gives us back the illusion of control. But we still feel. We still long to live through our emotions fully. We are truly like an artificial knight that wants to become a real person. Happiness is not in numbers. But it's not because numbers are bad. It is because there's nothing that alone can grant happiness and guarantee it. We trade in the natural world for artificiality, and then we blame this choice as the reason why our sky has no color. What if it's not actually connected? What if it's just an excuse? What if an artificial heart could beat and fall in love and drown in sorrow? <laughs> what is that? Um, so I feel like what that means is, is that, like, we tend to distract ourselves so much that, like, we're just not quite ourselves, we're not, and then we blame our troubles on all these artificial things rather than taking responsibility that maybe it has something more to do with us and our own lives than it does with the thing that we're using to distract or the things in our lives. Maybe we need to look inside ourselves for happiness. I mean, after all, happiness is there. We just gotta look hard enough to find it. Now, all the problem is, is that we don't look. We just assume that happiness comes from an external source, from the outside world. But it doesn't. It comes from inside us. We get to choose how we feel and we get to choose how we react to the situations in our lives, in our world. So if we choose to look for gratitude, we choose to look for joy, we will find it. If we choose to look for pain or suffering or just contentment, that's what we will find. So I challenge you today to find something good, even in the bad and hard situations of your life. What ways are you numbing out? In what ways are is your life run by artificial things? In what ways can you find happiness in your life today? Go out and spread the love, guys, because love always wins.